The following is a special presentation of ABC Sports. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the very first broadcast of the IRA IndyCar World Series. This has been in development for quite some time. This is something I've always wanted to do here on this channel, an offline series. And believe me, we all at the IRA want to change the game in, I in offline racing. And uh, we believe that this series, the IRA IndyCar World Series, is going to do that. Hello, everyone. I'm David Land. Welcome to Sebring International Raceway for the first test session of the IRA IndyCar World Series. I'm joined in the booth today by Joe Donahue and Mem Racing 89, Matt Faust. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? I, I am happy to be here. This is a big moment for YouTube, having this series starting, you know, functioning and everything. It's a great moment. It's great to share with you guys. Great to bring the IRA back to its roots. It's great to get the IRA going again, you know? So little IRA action in the past it has led up to this moment. We have the Brickles IndyCar Series, which has still been functioning, but it, it runs so short, and I'm aware of that. IRA Advocare IndyCar Series has kind of been on and off lately, but it's there. Substop Endurance Series getting running. This. Yeah. And Matt Our Faust, I want to talk well. specifically to you for a second. Um, of course, you run Matt's Race News, which uh, if you haven't checked out Matt's Race News, you better do that because it's, he's going to keep you all up to date on all the happenings in the IRA and the other sanctioning bodies out there for offline racing, stop motion, uh, and all the like, as we see a great battle going on here on screen. But uh, Matt, I want you to tell us about the significance of uh, offline racing in this community and uh, just kind of talk about how you're uh, feeling about this series. Well, I mean, first, it's great to have offline racing for me, because that gives me a uh, concept to talk about, and it just, it just keeps everything better, because one thing that I've always noticed is that sometimes you get these, you know, 40-minute long races, you know, you don't have much time after sports and stuff, and you just want to get up to date with what's going on, how your car is going, and see if you even finish the race or if you crashed out. So that's what Matt's Race News is for. It's kind of like a quick little sports center of offline racing, the sports center of the IRA, but we're also expanding on other things as well. And uh, this series, honestly, I've been watching the test sessions that we've been doing, obviously not official test sessions, um, but they have been great. I'm sure you guys saw the test session with the huge flip in Phoenix. I'm sure, I hope we don't see a huge wreck like that, but it definitely makes it interesting. That's for certain. So, uh, yeah, I'm really putting up high hopes to bring the IRA back and offline racing back to what it really started with. And uh, let's get right into it, folks. Uh, just a little intro there. Um, we're going to talk sign-ups. That's the important information, and um, it's not going to be your traditional, um, unfortunately traditional, I should add. It's not going to be the me, me, me sign-ups. If you are a big fan of IndyCar racing, or if you're a, a person, a historian, an aficionado of this kind of, of racing, you are definitely going to have the advantage in the sign-ups. Um, the signups are, as you probably saw on my Instagram, if you guys are following me on there, David Land on YouTube, uh, they're going to be Saturday, November 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I decided on that time because I thought it would be the, uh, the most available for uh, pretty much all time zones and pretty much all folks out there to give the most um, open signups we possibly can. Uh, there are going to be 39 cars available uh, for sign-ups. Um, of course, as I said before, uh, this is going to be using the IndyCar 1995 car set. So if you're not familiar with the 1995 IndyCar uh, World Series, I'd say get familiar with it, decide what car you want, and go for it. There will be two championships awarded, and this is where our, our uh, two analysts today are going to come in where we're going to get to talk about this. There are 26 full-time cars uh, that will be signed up. That will be the first 26 drivers to sign up, uh, and they will get the full-time spots in the IndyCar World Series. Uh, cars 27 through 39, now this is important. Uh, these cars are going to be able to compete in two rounds, and those two rounds are completely up to you. 
If you want to go uh, race at Phoenix and Hockenheim, or if you want to race at Indianapolis and Cleveland, that's where you get to choose. Um, and for those two rounds, whatever two rounds you choose, and if you're in the Clubman Cup, uh, you will be awarded championship points towards the Clubman Cup, and we will award a champion not only for the full-time guys, but for the part-time guys. So two champions will be awarded um, during the season. Now, uh, folks, before we go into the uh, really detailed stuff about what you're going to need to sign up, how do you guys feel about uh, the format we've kind of gone with for the IRA IndyCar World Series? Well, it's a great, it is a great opportunity to fill fields, have bigger groups of cars on track together at the same time, and at the same time as that is going on, you have these little races in between, like in Grand Am with you know GT and prototypes. You got all these little races going on, as well as the big time, oh, this is the championship here. But at the same time, the little guys who also, you know, we can't run 39 cars at, like, Phoenix, to say. We probably won't. We might if everybody who's a part-timer wants to run Phoenix, but that'd be kind of not a good idea. So it allows more drivers to cover more races, at the same time as, you know, there's those little races. Hey, well, awards are, are fun. I like getting awards. <laughs> I mean, yeah, more awards, that sounds good too. And that is a that is a good point, Joe. Uh, this is definitely going to be a great opportunity. If you've ever wanted to have your name shouted on our channel, on my channel, I should say, uh, or, but by great people such as Joe Donahue, Matt Faust, Robbie Noonan, hopefully at some point, and maybe some other special guests, um, this will be the greatest opportunity for that um, you've ever had. So by signing up, I mean, you're essentially gaining shout-outs by, uh, by the large numbers. Um, we should uh, mention now uh, what you're going to need to sign up for the IndyCar World Series. You're going to need a first and a last name. Uh, that doesn't necessarily have to be your real first and last name if you don't want to give that information out. Um, but we, uh, we don't want you to sign up as, say, a Muscle Milk Cup Series. Um, we prefer that, that not be the case. Um, that's why we're going to give the rule as, like, Joe Tonto is fine. If you want to sign up as Joe Tonto, that's totally cool. But uh, signing up as Darth Airbox or Darth Vader or, uh, you know, uh, uh, Firestone Cup Series, as we see the Scott Pruitt, Pat Patrick racing car going around here, uh, you can't be a Cup Series is pretty much what I'm saying. And you also can't be like Darth Vader. Okay? Um, or the most awesome 43 fan, even though he is really Yeah, or Exploration Minecraft. You can't be Exploration yeah. Minecraft. Um, shout out to the most awesome 43 fan there. Yeah, shout out to the most awesome 43. Actually, I hope he signs up. He seems to be an IndyCar He's, fan. He is really good at stop motion. Is he? I haven't checked him out. Shout oh, out to yeah. Most Awesome 43 fan before he even signs up. Uh, but you're also going to need a country uh, to race under. This is, of course, the IndyCar World Series. And if you are a foreign-born or if, you're, uh, if you just feel the hankering to uh, represent another country, uh, we're going to need the country you want to race under, though I predict that predominantly the drivers in the IndyCar World Series are going to be from the United States, and that's totally fine. We like Americans here. We are Americans, so that works. We do, but at the same time, it's great to have that nationality. I know I did this once with the Brickles IndyCar Series. I said, everybody who signs up needs to tell me what country they're from. I got one person that wasn't American. Well, you know, one, one is uh, better than none, I suppose. It's uh, true. You're also going to need the car number. This is where most people kind of understand that's what you're going to need for a, a sign-up. Um, there will be a – in the sign-up video, um, I will go through every single car number that is available. But, again, prior knowledge is going to reward you because I think sign-ups are going to go pretty fast once this video goes up. So if you're familiar with the Indy cars from 1995, you're going to be a, at a huge advantage. Um, the other thing we're going to need you to uh, sign up for or put up on, the, um, on your sign-up sheet – Regardless of whether you're the first guy or the 39th guy, uh, we're going to need two races you want to compete in uh, from the schedule, which we're about to announce here. 
um, if you are not a full-time competitor, aka the two races you want to compete in if you're a Clubman Cup driver. Now, it's important to note that the Indianapolis 500, that is the fourth race on the schedule, that race is going to have a hard cut at 33 drivers. Only 33 are going to qualify for that race. Um, so, if you're a Clubman Cup driver or a full-time driver, there's a chance that you're not going to be in the Indianapolis 500. Uh, we should mention that uh, uh, how this is going to work in terms of where the driver skill ratings are. Um, most some series have gone with the uh, with the even everybody up and put everybody at skill set 100. Uh, we at the IRA IndyCar World Series have decided to go with a slightly different approach to that. Um, and that is the driver stats will be based on a random number generator. So say one weekend you could be at 95 and the next weekend you could be at 30. Um, and we hope that that's going to not only equal parity between, uh, wow, if we, we seem to have had an accident somewhere out on the course as parts litter the circuit, but um, uh, we also want to create a, a fair, even racing environment, but we also don't want just cars you know, running on top of each other throughout the whole race. Um, so hopefully that will work out well and create a fair system. How do you folks feel about um, what we've uh, kind of been discussing in the last few minutes? Well, I think it's a great opportunity for a really close points battle at the end of the season if you, you have a random assignment of how well a car's going to run. And it will be fun to see what the choices are for the part-time Clubman Cup drivers as to what races they want to race in. Yeah. yeah. That is the thing, though. You know, the, the more popular races, especially if you choose Indi Indianapolis, which I expect a lot of people are going to do, um, you know, if you, only get, if you only score points for one race or you score minimal points because you chose a race where 39 guys signed up for it, um, that's not really good strategy for trying to win the Clubman Cup now, is it? No, it's not. And, you know, if, you're in, if you get put in that position where you're in the Clubman Cup, you may want to think about that. If you know that you're a little late to the sign-ups, per se, but you're, you can get in and you know everybody's signing up for Indy, you may want to say, hey... Uh, we're not, there's not that many people racing in, uh, Hockenheim, I'll go there. And, you know, who knows, you, I mean, no matter what, you got a, a lot better shot at, at points that'll boost your, uh, position in the Clubman Cup Championship there. So you gotta kind of think about that kind of stuff when, when you're putting that position. So let's talk about the schedule, gentlemen, and then uh, we'll probably leave it off uh, with some final thoughts and potentially some analysis here from Sebring. Um, let's talk schedule. Of course, we've mentioned a few times that the first race of the IRA IndyCar World Series, and we're flashing this up on the screen right now, will be the, re, uh, the revitalization of the Copper World Classic. If you're like a short track or uh, a modified uh, racing driver, oh, sweet almost have a spin there coming out of uh, the corner. Um, you're going to know what the Copper World Classic is. I believe it was a modified race for a while. It also ran under the IRL sanction. Never under a cart sanction, though. However, um, we are bringing back the Copper World Classic. That's going to be a 90-lap race at Phoenix International Raceway and will also pose as the first race of the IRA IndyCar World Series. Race 2 will take place at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca for the hashtag Matt's Race News Grand Prix. And of course we've got Matt Faust, the purveyor of Matt's Race News in the booth right now. How does it feel to sponsor yet another race at Laguna Seca? Matt's actually eating right now. Nope, Matt's eating. We, well, this is something that's going to happen. That's going to be a thing as we Ooh. have a... Oh, that's going to be a... That is a spin. Woo. That's wall contact. Woo. It's all kicking off here at Sebring. Uh, well, Matt can't commentate on his own uh, schedule, but uh, race number three will be the hashtag uh, Save Nazareth Speedway Grand Prix from Nazareth Speedway. Uh, that is going to be a fantastic addition. Um, we love Nazareth Speedway here at the IRA, oh, and yes. uh, we're kind of disappointed that it's in the state that it is. So we're going to bring it back. Uh, yes. And uh, I think that's going to be a great event. And, of course, that is the last 
event before, the great Indianapolis 500. And that's going to be an event that everybody's going to want to win and probably everybody's going to enter. And 33 drivers will compete for that race. 90 laps, 225 miles. Whoa, and now that's it. That's he's gone now. And that's going to be a crash. Oh, well, you got to crash, folks. That's just a little bit of the excitement to expect from the IRA IndyCar World Series next year. Yeah, or this don't year. sign up for, for Ganassi Racing. Yeah, don't <laughs> sign up for car number 12, except for the fact that probably everybody's going to want to sign up for that car now. Uh, race number five will take place at the Milwaukee Mile, uh, re retaking its uh, traditional spot as the uh, next race after the Indianapolis 500. That's another one mile over and another 90 lap race. After Milwaukee is the Cleveland Grand Prix, uh, another track that we haven't seen in, Indy in real IndyCar racing for a while. Frankly, it's one that needs to come back, in my opinion. Then we will head to the, uh, the Houston uh, Reliant Park Circuit as we got another spin and another contact. What on earth is going on there? Um, but um, we will head to Reliant Park for the Grand Prix of Houston, the Gunslinger Grand Prix of Houston. And then it'll be the one and only fly uh, flyaway race of the season. That is at Hockenheim Ring for uh, the Hockenheim Grand Prix. That race, of course, at the old Hockenheim, the fast Hockenheim, the exciting Hockenheim, good Hockenheim. <laughs> the, good, the only Hockenheim, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. The other one is the Tilkenheim Ring. And then finally, we're going to be closing out the season at the Pocono Raceway for the Badass Wilson Memorial in honor of Justin Wilson. And I think there's a lot of fun stuff that we're going to be able to do that for that uh, race in paying tribute to Justin Wilson because in our factor, there are a lot of Justin Wilson cars. And there's the one hint you're getting. Um, so, uh, Joe, since you're the one person who's not eating dinner right now, uh, how do you feel about the schedule? I really like the schedule. I love that we're bringing some of these tracks like Pocono and Hockenheim, Phoenix. That's going to be an interesting race. And we're still sticking with the roots at, at Milwaukee and Indy. I think this, this is a great setup, and it's going to be exciting to watch. Well, that is the IRA IndyCar World Series. We're really hopeful for this series. We're hoping it will revitalize the... Um, the whole community here on YouTube and uh, across the uh, the whole community because uh, it's uh, this uh, you know I you know this is one of the reasons I wanted to start this series is because I kind of felt the offline racing community that was guys kind of been lacking the last few years not a lot of quality content out of there not a lot of exciting races and not a lot of good commentary we're hoping to provide all of that here in the IRA IndyCar World Series so. <laughs> we'll see you uh, for sign-ups on Saturday. We are very excited to bring that to you. And then uh, we will also be live streaming, qualifying from Phoenix International Raceway. Of course, the first race. Uh, that'll be a, a, an assortment of a uh, few live broadcasts we will be bringing you. And hopefully soon, around the end of November, the first race for the IRA IndyCar World Series, the Copper World Classic, will be brought to you live not live, but uh, will be brought to you on David Land on YouTube. So thank you all so much for watching. For David Land on YouTube, this has been David Land. Uh, and for Joe Donahue, Matt Faust, and the rest of the IRA, thank you so much for watching. And uh, good luck in the signups. We'll see you at Phoenix.